Hey guys, um, <clears throat> Meg back here to show you um, the inside of my daughter's closet. I did a kid organizing video a while back. Um, I posted one about my daughter's closet one before we started the process. And then I posted one on decluttering your child's room and things like that. So right now I'm going to show you my, wow, I'm really white. I'm going to show you the inside of my daughter's closet. Um, some things we have done to it to make it more functional, to make it more of a big girl room or big girl closet. So let's show you the doors. Here's the doors. They're just standard sliding doors. Um, I put the little butterfly stickers and stuff on the corners up top just to make it a little bit whimsy. So the first item I'm going to show you is the clothes side. Oh, let me flip the light switch on. I forgot. But I'm going to show you the clothes side. And excuse the little mess up top here. Um, these are her new shoes for school. Some for getting to kindergarten. Huh? That's not supposed to be in here. It's supposed to be outside, actually. Okay. So let's just do a quick overview. There's the shelf, and then as you go down, you see all the clothes. Now, first thing I'm going to discuss is the closet system. This is a rubber made home free or freedom system. I don't know. I'll try to link it down below and tell you. But it's got this bar right here that you mount, and then you mount these bars onto it, and that's you can adjust your shelves up, down, whatever. And it comes with an extension bar. It did not, so we bought this for her closet. It was kind of expensive, but it'll be able to grow with her as she gets bigger. So, you know, right now we have this long rod here. You know, this shorter rod here for short stuff, but maybe we will want, you know, another long rod going all the way across eventually, you know, at some point in time. So, so that was the first thing that we kind of, you don't have to invest in doing but I just like to. So we're gonna go up top here. I have these shelves from Big Lots. They are foldable and they stack. They are the awesomest, awesome, most awesome organizing stuff. These little shelves I could find. Um, that's a shoe organizer I have not put up yet. But up top we have a jewelry box and we have our old clothes hamper that she's not quite ready to use when she's being torn up. Now down here, now we have a bin. This is for her Build-A-Bear accessories. Flip-flops, shoes, hair bows, casts, whatever. And this bin uh, came from the Dollar Tree. It's just like a locker style bin. And it fits really nicely right underneath here. And these two bins are from uh, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Big Lots. You can get them either way. This is her sweater box. It unvelcros and I store her nice sweaters in here and this is her build-a-bear clothes box it's a very pretty just round box and all of her build-a-bear clothes fits in here and my rule is we can't have more build-a-bear clothes than will fit in here out if they get too many we'll have to rotate them out so that's kind of how we do it and that's her build-a-bear couch these are a pair of shorts that need to be taken downstairs, and I'll explain these green bins in a minute. This is her Bill a Bear couch. Um, we don't have it out right now because we really don't have a good spot for it, but it's up there. Now I'll go over the clothes, how I have them organized real quickly. Okay, see these little organizers here? I got these from Burlington Coat Factory for about $1.99 for like 12 or 24 or something like that. And I just use my label maker and label tank tops. So all of her tank tops are right here. Tank tops, halter tops. That's not supposed to be there, but that's okay. But all of her tank tops are here. And then as you go up, we see here's t-shirts. So these are all of her just regular t-shirts. And then these are dressier shirts. Like see, it's a shirt like this. It's kind of a little bit nicer. And then we have outfits. Outfits that I put together and I hung up together go right here. Um, 
these hangers we purchased them from Ikea they're actually considered children's coat hangers but they are my favorite for shirts because they're 13 inches so they're really good size as your kids get bigger okay then down here on the bottom we have dresses and I'll give you a little hint this is a dress hanger uh, there's not one on the bottom, a skirt, but I pinned but up a bunch of my daughter's skirts, three skirts on here. So it saved me some pant hangers. And you can get these at Big Lots, Walmart, wherever. And my husband was not, my husband was hanging clothes up. But all these are shorts, good shorts. And then also from Ross, I have one of these in my closet. This is a belt hook. I just loop my daughter's belts on here and then I hang them up. This was about three dollars but it's really helpful because it keeps all the belts hanging up. I know where they are or my daughter knows where they are. She can grab them and makes her more independent. This little shelf here I think is going to become the flip-flop shelf. Well her flip-flops are just going to set on here. So that's this. All of our clothes pretty much are in the closet on this side. So now if we go to the other side of the closet. Wah! Now I did not, this shoe organizer did not come with the system. We purchased this separately and it was kind of expensive but it's so worth it because she does actually put her shoes away in here. Except her flip flops if you can't see they're everywhere. But we got her step stool. This is also from Burlington Coat Factory. These bins are from, you can get these for $6.99 anywhere. These are her everyday clothes. As you can see, my daughter's room is kind of small. I mean, that's pretty much it. And so her dresser used to be right here and it kept taking up a ton of space. Now we were going to put it underneath the TV, but she walks to make her bed and stuff in front of there. So I don't know. We may end up moving the toy bin over there to kind of corral and hide the cords. But, so we want to get all of her everyday clothes into the closet. So these were labeled, but she wiped them off. But this is everyday t-shirts and everyday shorts. And you don't have to fold these. We just, well, I kind of fold them. But, you know, they can just be kind of, you can just kind of, you know, stuff them in there. And she can get them down. Now these bins came from the Dollar Tree. They're little baskets. And I got these for pajamas and socks and underwear because they weren't filling up a whole bin. And so all of her socks and underwear are in this one and all of her pajamas are in this one. And the, and the reason why I like this tip, hold on, let me spin this around. The reason why I like this tip is this way you can't have too many pajamas out. You can't have too much of something out. You either have to purge some items or you have to rotate out pajamas and things like this, which... I think it's kind of silly. I would just rather purge items, but I mean, to each his own. It's your own preference, whatever you want to do. So that's why I started doing this. And I mean, for two dollars, it's a pretty good deal. I'm. It's not. Yeah. Okay. The next shelf. This. These bins came from Walmart. They were dollar ninety seven. I don't think they have the polka dots anymore. I know they have plain purple. But these house her leggings and in the winter they will hold her tights and I need to attach a little label in here. And then this one as you can tell has swimsuits. Now it's kind of overflowing with swimsuits but that's because we just purchased some new ones that she has that at a yard sale. See how cute that is? That she needs to wear this season. This is another one of those bins from um, Dollar General, yeah, Dollar General. I paid three dollars for it. It's really pretty. And this holds her headbands. I know it's kind of jumbled up, but I'm gonna make her a hair accessories holder. But this is where I think I'm gonna store extras and stuff. So they're right here, like special ones. You know, extra special, extra pretty ones or something like that. Probably where I'm gonna put it. Okay, now to discuss these four green bins up here. Okay, this bin has a dress up crown and an egg headband and her a few extra items that need to be taken care of. So that's kind of like an extra bin. This bin is her hair stuff. Ooh, 
and I like that it has handles. But all her hair stuff is in this bin, so when I go to put her fix her hair, I just grab the little tote out and I'm good to go. Uh, this, these last two bins, they have stuff that is too big or needs to be taken downstairs so I can gather it all up, you know, and these came from Dollar Tree, so it was four of them. Now this is an old wipey box and my daughter really loves it because it's got a princess on it. So I didn't want to just get rid of it because she likes it. So it did hold her hair stuff, but I'm thinking it might end up holding like, you know, ponytails and stuff just being able to drop them in there and that's why she can drop them in there at the end of the day when she takes her ponytails out of her hair now this is her radio and then this basket up here this is stuff I think this I think this is the too small bin I'm pretty sure this is yeah so if there's something that's too small or something I can throw it in this bin and it can hang out up here until we have a yard sale or something. Uh, story time books. This is a project mommy is working on. I'm going to turn this princess, used to be a mirror, into a clip coloring chalkboard. Chalkboard. Yeah, chalkboard. So, oh, sorry. And then back here we have extra hangers. We have a little mounty thing from Dollar Tree. Mounts all of her purses and stuff on. We have some more hooks back here for bigger backpacks and stuff like this. And then we have the clothes hamper. So, yeah. I pretty much... I pretty much do laundry on Thursdays and Fridays is laundry day. But this is my daughter's closet. I mean, she keeps it really clean. Um... And it stays pretty well organized. I wish I could show you a whole entire view, but I can't because the doors won't let me. Stays pretty much organized, and we know where she knows where her pajamas go, her socks, underwear, her everyday clothes. She knows where all these go. She knows where her swimsuits are. So she pretty much can get herself dressed in the mornings, which is what you want to be more productive. Um, yeah. So yeah. You don't have to go out and buy a big, expensive um, closet organizational system if you don't want to. Um, but since we don't, we rent our house, we want to be able to take it down. If you don't, if you own your house and you want to be able, you know, want to be more permanent, you can actually just make some shelves and stuff and have them mounted in permanently. But then you can't, you know, adjust them. So that's why I kind of think a closet system is really a functional good thing it's worth spending the money on and this comes in multiple um, different sizes so as she grows and you know she doesn't have so many everyday clothes or as if her room gets bigger we can bring her dresser back in and then we can put more clothes and stuff out but I don't know I really love this closet system that I've created um, the only most expensive parts was the actual system and the shoe caddy Everything else, we already had all the hangers. These baskets were from the Dollar Tree. You know, these were two bucks from Walmart, three bucks here and there. So everything was pretty cheap. And as you can see, it all fits in here nicely. Uh, the clothes hamper was from Target. It was six bucks, but it's flexible, so I can fit it in this little space. But see, everything fits in here. All of her clothes are in here, so she has all this space. It's kind of messy. She made her own bed this morning. All of this space to play. So yeah, that's kind of great. Oh, another thing about her closet. These flowery hooks, these are where we hang her clothes for the next day and her pajamas that she's going to wear again at night. They hang right there. So it makes it easier for her. So yeah. But that's my daughter's closet and how I organized it. Um, if you guys have any more tips on organizing closets or, or need any help with organizing your kid's closet or their room or if you have any um, questions about like toy or toy um, rotation or toy organizing or things like that just please you know comment me down below send me a message um, I, I am on Twitter make army wife is my Twitter name 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time for our next Whatever Wednesday. You guys have a great day. Bye.